Nodes can be confusing. Here's how to adjust opacity for a node inside of Fusion. So I get questions like this from time to time from somebody maybe coming from a layer-based compositing app of some kind, photo editing app, that kind of thing. Uh, let's say I have a node, let's say maybe like this background, which is just a teal background. And maybe I have a mask on it, which is just this rectangle mask. Let's change the width here just so we can see. It's just normal mask. Maybe this is a background for a graphic or something like that. And we want to adjust the opacity of this. We want to be able to see through it a little bit. Well, there are a few different ways that you could adjust the opacity here. The first would be in the background, you have this alpha slider, which you would think if you take this alpha down to halfway, that this would kind of fade this down. But what happens is if you take the alpha down to about half, uh, it kind of brightens things, which is a little bit not intuitive. This alpha slider really only works if your background is black. And that's for a bunch of technical reasons we don't need to get into right now. But suffice it to say, most of the time, that's not where you want to go. The other place that you could kind of fade this element down is in the mask. So I can take this rectangle mask and here where we have level, this is the strength of the mask. This is basically how bright the white mat is that this mask is making. So if I take this level down, we'll see the mat is kind of darker gray, which just takes the opacity down of our background. So that effectively works just fine. So you can do it that way. One way that I like to do it just to keep things clean is to always adjust opacity in the merge. The merge controls everything about how the foreground goes over the background. And so to me, it makes sense to adjust the opacity of the foreground in the merge. What we're gonna do is use this blend property right here. And this is pretty much exactly the opacity of the note. So take it all the way down, it's transparent. Take it all the way up, it's opaque and in between. So that's kind of how I would do it. If I want to fade something out, we can keyframe this blend. Click this little diamond, that'll make a keyframe wherever my playhead is. And then as we go, I can take this blend down and it will animate in between. So that's a really simple way to fade things out and to adjust the opacity of whatever is attached to this merge node. And again, you could do this in the mask, but I usually like to keep my masks totally opaque unless I'm going to mix a bunch of masks and I'm doing something fancy. And then if we're going to fade things out, just adjust it inside of the merge. So there's a short little tip for you. If you want to get into Fusion a little bit more, we have a course, Pro Compositing and VFX inside of Fusion. We have a basics course and an advanced course. You can also get them in a bundle. Definitely worth it if you're wanting to get into compositing in any way with Fusion. I'll leave a link right here as well as in the description. And I just hope that you have a great day and that all of your masks are well opacitied. <laughs> That's not a word at all.